Hi, I'm Barbara Rimkunis, and this is your Exeter History Minute. At some point every winter, we start to wonder, is it ever going to stop snowing? We badly need something to do during those long, cold months. Being in the history business, we always wonder, how did people cope before there was an Internet? In our photo collection here at the Historical Society, we have a stack of pictures of sled dog races. Looking at them all, you might start to think that we had sled dog races every weekend. But actually, there was only one race, held on January 22nd and 23rd in 1938. 1938 is one of those years that just keeps popping up. It was the town's 300th anniversary. The hurricane of 1938 swept through in September, but the year really kicked off when the Exeter Lions Club partnered up with the New England Sled Dog Club to hold a cross-country race around and through the town of Exeter. Sled dog racing had become popular after the press closely followed the desperate dog sled relay in Alaska from Anchorage to Nome to deliver diphtheria antitoxin in 1925. That 1,000 mile trek evolved into the Iditarod Trail sled dog race. Exeter's course was 16 and a half miles, beginning and ending in the center of town. Crowds of people turned up only to discover that the course took over two hours to complete and there wasn't a lot of action going on while waiting. But the dogs were housed at Phillips Exeter Academy and visiting was encouraged. Sled dog racing, then as now, was a co-ed sport for both the dogs and the mushers. This race was no exception. There were two women who placed in the top ten, including New Hampshire's Eva Seely, who raced her team in the 1932 Lake Placid Olympics. Over 200 dogs raced through Exeter that weekend. The streets were left unplowed for the event. In spite of the slippery driving that produced, thousands of people came to town to watch. And if this is any indication, everyone took pictures. For more Exeter, New Hampshire history, check out our website at www.exeterhistory.org.